Let's try this one more time. Definitely can't be safe spotted. What the heck? Okay, I don't know how to safe spot this guy. Okay, let's try this again. I watched the video. I feel like I'm ready. Nice! Okay, there we go. That only took a billion tries, but we got it. I'm gonna eat just to be safe. Level 18 magic. Come on, hit him. One more good hit to the guy. Nice. Alright, so we get the key. Now we gotta unequip any weapons and armor and enter the gate. Okay, this doesn't look like any weapons or armor. We're in, let's eat real quick. Talk to the male slave on the east wall. Option one, option two, one, 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 one. Okay, so we traded our outfits. We have the slave's clothes on and now we wanna go north through this door. Click clang So now we want to enter right here. Some of these slaves might be aggressive. So let's kind of just sprint by him. Or the guard might be aggressive. I'm not sure what is what. Cave guard entrance. And this guy's going to want a pineapple. So let's talk to this guard. Ow, what the fu? What the heck? Why is this guy being a butthole? Oh my god, this dude's following me every- Go away, bro! I don't have time for your shit. No way. Who are you? Why are you following me all the way here? Oh my gosh. This guy, purely ridiculous. I'm going to save my run because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to run by this dude. He's still, he's still locked onto me. Go away, rowdy slave. So that's like the one guy that'll attack me in this entire thing. Once I have enough to sprint past him, I'm, I feel like I'm good. Maybe I can lure him around this corner. Oh no, am I lagging? Okay, we're good. I didn't like that. Nobody was moving for a second. Sprint past him. Okay, perfect. Oh. That stupid, that stupid guy. Option two, option two. Now we gotta go back to the surface. That rowdy slave might attack me again. So we're gonna try to sprint past him. Get ready and go. All right, we should be safe now from him. And there's no more rowdy slaves. It's just that one dude that wants to murder me. And before we go up, or not now, but before we leave, we need to unequip our slave outfit. Let's head over here. I'm gonna change right here and Let's leave. And we gotta go to the uh, Bedabin camp. Bedabin camp. Let's just equip some of our, we don't even really have any armor. <laughs> We've been fighting armorless, but now we need to cross the dangerous desert where camels try to murder me. Who would have thought? And we wanna go to Bedabin, which is right here. The Bedabin camp. Get out of here, wolves. Why am I going this way? All right, hopefully this camel doesn't just straight murder me. We need to talk to Al-Shabim. Bibadine Nomad. I think Al-Shabim is in here. Yes, Al-Shabim. Option one, I need a pineapple. I'm interested in it. Okay, so we get the Beb, the Beta Bean key, and now we have to head back to the camp. And then back to the desert mining camp. Oh, I wish we had a lot more run for this. This is just like slow walk back and forth. Back and forth. I don't want this stupid wolf to attack me. How much water skins? We still got a good amount of water skins. We're fine on that. I'm gonna try to walk all the way, save my run until I need it. And so we gotta make sure we unequip everything before entering the gate. So let's be a slave again. Perfect. And we wanna head up this ladder. Hopefully these guards aren't mean to us. Close the curtain and let's go up the ladder. Now we need to search the southernmost bookcase. Oh, on the western wall. So this one over here. You notice several, several books on sailing. So now we talk to the captain. We know what he's interested in. What are you doing in here? Option one, option five, option three. It's been a passion for years. We flattered him. All right, homie is straight distracted thinking about his days as a sailor. Perfect opportunity for us to open the chest and steal some plans, which we have here now. And then we have to go all the way back to the Bebedine camp. So let's climb down, open this, head over towards the gate, and we're going to remove our slave outfit. And now we make the walk all the way back. So let's re-equip, uh, make sure that my... Okay, it's still on spell. And we got to go show uh, El Shabim the plans. 
Oh, that camel's gonna try. Yeah, that's why I thought wolves and camels. Don't try and mess with me. Making our way to El Shabim. Walking slow, pretty slow. Dun -dun 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 -dun. El Shabim. El Shabim. I've got plans to show you. Option one. Option one. You have the plans and all the items needed. You should be able to complete the item on your own. Please bring me the item when it is finished. So now we have to head up here and use this anvil. All right, whatever animal is in this oasis sure is making a lot of noise. Use the anvil in the north tent. Following the plans, create a prototype dart. Use a bronze bar to create a prototype dart. Do I want to follow the technical plans? Yes, I'd like to try. You waste the bronze bar through an unlucky accident. Do you think you know where you went wrong and you'll be successful the next time? Let's try again. We failed the first attempt. Through an unlikely accident, you were not able to make the dart. I do want to follow the plans. Third time's the charm. Come on, baby. You follow plans carefully. After some careful work, you finally manage to forge a sharp pointed dart tip. Okay, now we have to attach the feathers to it. We persevere. We successfully attach the feathers. And now we have the prototype dart. Nice. And we got to go take this to Al Shabim and show him, uh, show him our great craftsmanship, our smithery. El Shabim, we have made the new weapon, brother. And for a trade, I would like a pineapple. Okay, so we get six of the darts, different type of dart, and a pineapple. Thank you so much, Al Shabim. Appreciate it. And now we got to go find Anna and rescue her. That's been the whole kind of point of this mission. She got she got taken into a slave mining camp while she was on a measly tourist vacation with her mom. Okay, so we got to equip the slave outfit again. So let's just unequip all of our all of those, put on our slave outfit, and we gotta go all the way back down to that guard. Okay, okay. This camel is freaking fast too. What the hell was that? I do not like that these camels act attack me. All right, none of these guards, don't bother me. I'm just a regular guy. All right, back here. The only person we need to watch out for is this rowdy freaking slave. And we gotta give the pineapple to the guard. He's gonna let us through into the deeper mining area. And that's where we're gonna find Anna, who we're supposed to rescue. Anna, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Anna? All right, this this guy's gonna be a pain, so I'm gonna lead him over here first. And he should get stuck in the rock, perfect. Use pineapple on a guard. All right, and so now we can walk through. And now we just wanna head east until we're beside the minecart, and we need to get a barrel. So let's search barrels to get a barrel. Yeah, cool. All right, so we grab a barrel, and then we search this minecart to get inside of it. Oh, we bang our knee, so that didn't count. Let's try it again. Let's go. We ride the minecart into this other area. So now we want to take the northwest path to find Anna. Anna, are you okay? Hopefully there's no rowdy slaves in here. Okay, and Anna is right up here. And you want to make sure not to talk to her. All you want to do is use the barrel on her. So let's use barrel on Anna. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Shh, 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 it's for your own good. You managed to squeeze Anna into the barrel despite her complaints. I don't fit in this barrel. Wet me out. Wait, how old is Anna? Anna, what the, why are you talking like that? Okay, so now we got to head back to the minecart. We're going to smuggle Anna out of here. Don't worry, Anna, we got you. Use Anna in a barrel on the minecart. Goodbye, Anna. See you later. Okay, now that the cart is back, it's our turn to take the cart. So we'll try searching again. Hopefully we don't bump our knee. And we bang our head on the cart, of course, because it's that hard to get in. Oh, try it again. Whee! And now we have to find Anna. So let's search these barrels. There's Anna. Okay, so we got Anna. And now we want to put Anna on the winch over here, the winch bucket. So use Anna on winch bucket. Hey, that bear looks heavy. Do you need a hand? Yes, please. Blimey, this is heavy. Why you cheeky? What was that? <laughs> I said you were very gregarious. <laughs> all right, we flattered him. Now we got to head all the way back to the surface. So let's walk through here again, run past the rowdy miner, the rowdy slave. Peace out, rowdy slave. I ain't dealing with you like that. No way. Homie follows me to the end of the line. Is that another rowdy? No. There's just one rowdy slave, of course. It's one dude causing all the trouble. <coughs> what the heck was that noise? All right, we're heading up. And now that we're back at the surface, we got to go operate the winch over here. We got to pull Anna up. Ow, what the quan? Ow, bro, why? That was not nice, dude. Homie just straight attacked me. Come on up, Anna. Get me out of here. 
west of the winch. Never eat soggy waffles, so I think this one is Anna. Nice. Anna's feeling sick. Let's put Anna on the wooden cart. And now we have to talk to the driver. We do option two, option two, option one, option three, option three, option three, option one. We're about to entice a prison riot. And then option two, don't leave me here. And then we have to get on the cart by searching it. Yes, I'll get on. And boom, we got smuggled out of here along with Anna. We're now safely out of there. We can equip our weapons again. Anna is in the barrel perfectly. And now we just have to head all the way back up to Irene and quest complete. So let's sprint past all these evil camels. Who would have thought the camels would have been the biggest obstacle in the game? Ow, a three, bro. Guys, you need to leave Brittany alone, for real. Okay, here we are back with Irene. Let's talk to her. Hey, great. There's my mom. Thanks for getting me out of that mine. Here's Ikea I found in the tunnels. Thank you very much for returning my daughter. Of course. And we can choose to get increased experience in any of these. So let's see what the guide says. We can get experience in agility, fletching, thieving, or smithing. Our agility is hecka low right now. So I'm thinking we do one in agility. Our fletching is pretty good. We're at 42. Smithing is decent. It's agility and thieving. Well, you know, look, our thieving is pretty good. So let's do agility. Boom, all the way up to 20 agility. Double agility gets us all the way up to 26 agility, which is amazing. We can now use the Fally shortcut. And quest complete, we get two quest points. We can go into the desert mining camp now anytime we want, although I don't know if I ever want to go back there. Uh, and we got a ton of experience in agility. Very nice. Let's go back through the shanty. Well, before I do that, actually, let's see where this wants me to go. Yeah, we can leave now. So let's go through here. Quest complete. Now we're going to be using our grouping teleport on. Okay, grouping teleport. And we're going to go to fishing trawler. So let's teleport there. And we'll see you guys at the fishing trawler. Here we are. Where is here, you might ask? I have no idea. Oh, we're at Port Kazard, right by Yanil. Okay, we've we've gotten our bearings right beneath our dome. So we want to bank everything. Let's head over to this bank chest. Oh, we do not want those here though. This will go here. Those will all go into my miscellaneous along with our slave outfit. Bank everything and grab our cash stack. We still have 150K from our seven hour grind at Wintertot. And we need to buy 10 pots of flour and 10 buckets of slime from the shopkeeper here. So here is is six pots of flour, 10 buckets of slime. Is that a bailing bucket? Let's try world hopping. Hmm, weird. It says we should be able to buy buckets of slime here, but I am not seeing those at all. Wow, this guy only has one pot of flour in this world. Jeez, is somebody buying out all of the flower pots? Here we go. I have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11. And we need a bucket of slime. I don't know if a bailing bucket is a bucket of slime. I don't think it is. I'm buying 10 anyways. Ugh, that's definitely not a bucket of slime. What could it be? Fish trawler. Trader stands trading post. We should be able to buy it. I guess let's try going down here. Oh, is it this one? All right. There's two. If there's two general stores. Nah. Oh, okay. The buckets of slime we have to buy on the dock, y'all. So we'll come over here. Trader crew member, I think is who we're going to talk to. Nice. There we go. Our 10 buckets of slime complete. What else can you buy in here? A Tyrus helm. Interesting. And so now it wants us to go back and bank everything again. So let's bank that. Now we have to buy 600 buckets of sand and 600 soda ash. So let's go do that. I think they said we can do it from the general store. Trade. No bucket of sand in here. And there's a clock in this room. Awesome. Where do we buy this from? From the characters, which you'll need later. From the characters. This is the same people that we bought the slime from give sword to the tyndall merchant let's trade the crew member bucket of sand that's definitely what we want and soda ash soda ash oh my gosh so we're just gonna have to go back and forth banking and buying and world hopping that's gonna be our grind let's see how long this takes to buy all of this in world hop we need 600 probably for crafting later on yep it says later on for crafting let's get to the world hopping Okay, now that we've got 600 of each, we're good buying buckets of sand and soda ash. So now we're gonna need our pickaxe. 
We're gonna mine 15 clay from the mine southwest of Port Kazard. Let's open up the map. This mine right here, we're gonna get clay. Let's bank all of our cash, grab two cakes, and we'll take our chronicle too, just to be safe. And let's head south. And we're looking for the clay. I'm not sure, I'm not sure which one the clay is. I think it's the lighter. We'll find out. Let's prospect this one, see what it is. Drum roll, please. Clay, all right. We need to get 15. One, two, three, four, five, and 15 clay. So now we want to head back up, rebank our items. Whoa. Evil Bob again? All right, Evil Bob. Help me with some fishing. All right, let's do it. Wow, this one again. Good old scape rune. All right, let's go fish it up. We know how to do this one now. Look at that, there's a gold statue to evil Bob. Oh, I gotta ask. Guess I don't know how to do this. Servant, I've been kidnapped. You can help me. The little cat. Okay, so we gotta go to the statue of evil Bob scared. Dropping an emote. Thanks, lady. Not this one. Not this one. This one. All right. First try. Let's fish it out. Okay, we catch the cooked fish. Now we gotta uncook it. Perfect. Use the uncooked fish on evil Bob. He goes to sleep and we dip out of here. I don't really know what we get out of that. Oh, we get fishing XP. Nice. Okay, let's return. We're going back to the bank. The bank are 15 clay. Okay, we're banking everything. We're grabbing our bar crawl card. Runes for fire strike, which means I think I need the air runes. Some food. We'll grab five. We'll make sure we grab our chronicle as well. And a steel axe. Boom. And we can still cast fire strike. Let's just make sure. Oh, we need mind runes and all of our mind runes. Now we're ready to go. We need to kill a bunch of imps to get the beads required for imp catcher quest. So we're gonna go on a little mission around the monastery. I think the monastery is up here. Yep. We gotta kill imps around here until we get all of the correct colors. Wait, why am I not auto casting fire strike? Oh, dang it. All right, let's try it with this guy. Die imp. We need a black, yellow, and white bead. There's the black bead. Die imp. There's a magic level up, 19. Let's scatter these ashes. I think this gives us prayer XP. It does, level two prayer. And there's the white bead that we need. Now we just need yellow and red. There's the red bead. Now we only need the yellow bead. Burnt bread and the fiendish ashes. We get a defense level up. There we go. Level two defense. And I don't know how easily accessible those are. Another prayer level up. Prayer level three. Magic level up, level up, level up. Level 20 magic. Defense level three. A bucket. There it is! The yellow bead! Let's go! Prayer, level up, level up, level up! Level four prayer. Awesome. With that done, we have what we need to finish the imp catcher quest, but we're not gonna do it just yet. We're actually gonna go start and finish fight arena. All right, let's head over to start the quest. We need to talk to Lady Serval, west of the monastery. There's Lady Serval. Lady Serval, I need a quest. You've got to find your family. I'm ready. Fight Arena. Would you help me, please? I'm Lady Serval. My husband is Sir Serval. Her husband has been kidnapped. And now we must go east. All right. Now we got to enter this broken down building. Search the chest to get some armor. Equip said armor. It's okay. We're still real wizards. We're just in disguise. And there is her kid, Sammy Pervil, whom we got to talk to. Don't touch me. Don't worry, I'm here to break you out. All right, so now we gotta go talk to the guard down here. Homie needs a drink. Now we just need to go into the bar, buy a beer for our fellow guard. Oh man, I need to buy... Shoot, I need cash to buy this. No! Where's the closest bank? At Yanil. All right, we're running to Yanil real quick. Unless there's some men I can pickpocket. It looks like it's all guards. Dang it! All right. We'll be back when I have five coins to pay the tab. Can't I wash dishes or something? All right, the Kazard barman, Cali Brew, and let's return it to our homie. All right, 
returning to our fellow bar guy. I assume we just used a Cali brew on him. Nothing interesting happens. Wait, bro, I'm trying to talk to you. And we get the homie drunk. And now we use the key, let our friend out. All right, it's time to kill the ogre. Okay, we're safe here. Oh, this is spooky. I should have run on just in case. Oh, yeah. Level 21 magic. Okay, ogre defeated. So now we get sent to prison. The general likes me. Nice. Now we gotta talk to Hengrid. He's been in the prison forever. Now it's our turn to fight in the gladiator fight again. Okay, I had to talk to him. Oh shit. Get over here. Ow. Okay. I... I don't know what level up I just got there. If I got one. So now we just stay here and save spot. Okay, that one's done. Okay, here we go. Hellhound fight. We can stay right here and we're safe spotted. Perfect. Whew. Okay, here we go. Just gotta wither this guy down. Level 22 magic. Okay, so for this... Ooh, defense level 5. There we go. After this, Kazard is gonna try to come and attack us. Um, and I'm tempted to just teleport out of here. The only downside is we're so close to Lady Serval right now. But I'm not sure what Kazard's top hit is. Let's see. Max hit is a 9. Okay, I should be okay. I can at least tank one hit. We'll even put on a prayer. A defense prayer. You have are causing tr much trouble today, so you must remain here and I will kill you myself. Alright, let's pray. Let's juke him. Oh yeah! Woo! Perfect. Alright, now we just gotta exit out of here. Let's put on this stuff just in case. I don't want these guards to attack me. And now we go talk to Lady Serval. Wow, we did it. That was pretty spooky though, I'm not gonna lie. Remove our armor. Back to being magicians. I thought I turned my prayer off. Guess not. Lady Serval, you're alive. I thought Kazard's men had taken you. My son and husband are safe. There we go, we rescued them. Please take these coins. We get 1,000 coins, 12k attack, 2k thieving. That's the big reward there. Boom, level 29 attack, just like that and level 35 thieving. What a jump. Oh my goodness, let's take a look. Amazing, we're getting buffered by the minute. 